What's up YouTube, Triple C Memorabilia back here with another video. Um, today I've got a small stack of mail that I have gotten in. Uh, I got these all in yesterday, yesterday and today. Um, and I'm just gonna show them all to you. I've got that and we're gonna do a little bit of a, I said I was gonna do this, I'm just gonna do it today. I'm gonna show my Paul DeYoung base card PC. And I will explain more what that is in just a little bit. So without further ado, here is some of the mail that I've gotten in the last couple of days. Um, picked up two Chiefs autographs. Picked up this 2004 upper deck card of, signed card of Johnny Morton. These all came from the same seller on eBay. He had them priced really cheap, so I picked up a couple of them. Johnny Morton had a couple of decent seasons with the Chiefs. Um, another really good name, he's in the Chiefs Ring of Honor. This is a 1987 Topps card, signed card of Darren Cherry. Really, really good safety whenever he played. Had a lot of really good seasons for the Chiefs. Uh, the rest is going to be baseball related. So, picked up this 1987 Topps card of Tom Lawless, signed in blue. He's a really good TTM signer, signer, excuse me, really good TTM signer, but by the time I bought a card and paid for it to be shipped here and then sent it off to get it signed, it was just cheaper to buy from this guy. So I bought that one, and then bought this 1986 Topps card of Tom Lawless as well. One of my favorite sets to collect right here, the 86 Tops. I absolutely love the look of these. So there's that one. Uh, the next one, again, these were all from the same seller on eBay. It's 2002 Tops total of Woody Williams. Had a couple of really good seasons as a Cardinal. So that's a nice one there. This Tops total card is a little bit more glossy than some of them. Most of them have more of the cardstock feel to it. And the last autograph card I picked up was a 2002 Topps card of Kerry Robinson. Another one of my favorite cards. Just I remember this one as a kid. I remember the blue bordered cards. I have so many of these. And I'd like to try to get all the Cardinals signed that I can. That would be super cool. But yeah, one of my favorite sets. I've actually got another one of these coming in from a Facebook page that I bought it from. So yeah, happy to get this Kerry Robinson card. Uh, the last card I got, this is a new product, a 2020 product. This is Baseball's Finest. I believe it's an online exclusive from Topps, I think is what it is. But Paul DeYoung had the green all-star card in it, so I picked that one up. Very, very 90s looking card. This is redoing those uh, the old 90s Topps Finest cards, so this one looks really cool. Happy to have that one in my PC. Um, so I recently just sold a Mark McGuire baseball and I wanted to replace it and I did. I found this photo on eBay and I picked it up. Nice photo here, signed in blue. The MLB photo, it's a very nice image. It got a little crease in it in the mail, but that's okay. Still turned out really nice. So happy to have that one of Mark McGuire. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys my Paul DeYoung base card PC. This is something in today's game, today's card hobby that I don't think gets enough love, and that's just the base cards. You know, as a kid, I never, I never, you know, sought out autographs or anything or relics. If I got one in a box, cool. If not, you know, I'm happy just to have the base cards. And you know, that's what a lot of kids. That's how they get into the hobby, just collecting base cards. And, uh, you know, as I've, as I've gotten older, you know, I'll take these base cards and get them signed now. I like them a lot better with autographs on them now. But, you know, Paul DeYoung, if you've watched my channel, Paul DeYoung is my main PC for the Cardinals. He's not the biggest name. I just wa remember, I remember watching him in Springfield a few years ago. I live really close to the AA affiliate. So uh, I would go watch them, and he just stood out to me for some reason. He was always super cool to come over and sign for everybody. Um, he sent me a pair of batting gloves in 2017 in spring training. And so, yeah, I just kind of built my PC around him after that. And uh, so something I wanted to do was to collect every base card that has been printed of him. And base card insert from like every set that they make. Of course, I've got a few 
random like collar parallels of all of them. But this is just something I wanted to do just because he is my main PC player. I'm gonna hold my camera just a little bit different so we can see this a little bit better. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what all I have collected here for Paul DeYoung. Yeah, so I've got his first Bowman right here, and then the pro debut card whenever he was with the Johnson City Cardinals. His Heritage Minor card he had with the Springfield Cardinals. Um, these are, I believe, 2016 Bowman cards, 17 Bowman cards, just uh, I've got the base and the chrome. So what I do, I pick the base card, and then if he's got like a chrome version like this, I do that one, or if he's got... Um, you know, just a regular insert. I do that one as well. So this one, I think is a 2018 top. No, this is also 2017 tops. This is, uh, or sorry, Bowman. This is like Bowman Chrome. It was two different sets that year. And I did, I put together a little mini rainbow here. I've got the orange to 25, the gold to 50. I think green is like two, uh, green's 99, blue is 150. Back here, I've got the purple shimmer, which is the 250. I did all the shimmer cards. I didn't do the flat ones. I did the shimmer ones. I like those the best. Then I've got the chrome refractor, and then just the regular chrome. He didn't have a base on this one. So I did all of those. This was his rookie, the year he got called up. So I tried to find all of those. Same set, he had a top 100 card, the Arizona Fall League card. And then of course, Tops Update, he had his rookie card in 2017, Tops Update Rookie, Tops Update Chrome Rookie. Then the, this is the, these are the Tops Now Rookie cards he had that year. This was after his first uh, home run, which is in his first, first at bat in the major leagues. Uh, this one was just another thing commemorating some extra bases that he had hit. This is whenever he got player of the month, or rookie of the month. And then just a few more random Tops Now cards. The Absolute Rookie card from 2017. The Panini Prism Rookie card. Love Prism. Uh, and then I did, a, I got a bunch of these numbered, numbered and out of Chronicles in a box break. So I just got a few of the random numberings. I got, this one's to $3.99. This one's $2.99, $1.99. And then this one is $2.99. Then this was the Mojo Refractor from, this is actually, this card should not have been a rookie. This was actually printed in 2018 tops, but for some reason it had the rookie emblem on it, which I thought was kind of strange, but still looks cool nonetheless. This was an online uh, exclusive they did. Tops Gallery. Um, and this one, I can't remember the name of these for some reason. It's slipping me. I don't know, can't remember the name of that set for some reason, but yeah, I love that card. The uh, Topps Tribute is what that one is. Uh, just the Bowman, Bowman Birthdays, and then the framed uh, Diamond Kings. Back here have the base Diamond King. Gypsy Queen, um, the regular base Topps Heritage with the Rookie Cup. Then I've got the Purple Chrome Heritage. Purple chrome, then I got the regular chrome refractor. This is the chrome refractor, and this one's just the chrome. Then Tops Finest. This is just the another 18. This is 18 tops. This is Road to Opening Day from 2018. Just an insert from from Tops 2018. This was Tops Opening Day. This was the photo variation from that, from Tops. Future Stars card, Topps Inception, one of my favorite products. I didn't care for it last year. This year is hopefully it could be a lot better. Um, just another Topps insert, Topps Allen and Ginter, Stadium, Stadium Club, Bowman Platinum, um, Big League from 2018, Topps Chrome. This is Panini Immaculate. The uh, Topps Chrome. 35th anniversary refractor, or just, the, I don't know if that's a refractor, but just the chrome. The Future Stars from Topps Chrome. This was Topps Archives. Topps Fire. This is the Players Weekend edition of Topps Now. This Bowman Chrome card. Another Topps Now after his first walk off. 
couple another insert then the sapphire this was tops archive snapshots I believe that was online exclusive as well um, this was the 18 tops gallery um, tops high tech it's either tops or Bowman they kind of flip flop back and forth that one's tops uh, this was Montgomery tops Montgomery that was an online exclusive National Baseball Card Day from 2018. And then this was 2019 Tops. The photo variation from 19 Tops. This insert, uh, Heritage, Gypsy Queen, Road to Opening Day. The Tops Finest Blue Chips Parallel. The Top Stadium Club card with the wrong player in the picture. That is actually Greg Garcia. We asked him about that and he just laughed about it. So yeah, not, not Paul DeYoung's picture, that is Paul DeYoung's card. Uh, 19 Ginter, 19 Big League. That's 19 Tops Chrome, Tops Now, a couple of Tops Nows. This is National Baseball Card Trading Day at 2019, Panini Limited. Tops Archives, another Tops Now release after he had hit three home runs. Uh, Bowman Chrome, this is the Tops All-Star Game. Which is cool because this is the year he made his first All Star game. Top Sapphire, All Star game insert, Tops Now, Tops Total, another couple of Tops Nows with the uh, Players Weekend. This is Bowman's Best, um, Heritage from this year, and then the Postseason card, Postseason Tops Now card. The 2020 Tops Opening Day. The base and chrome of Gypsy Queen, the photo variation of Gypsy Queen, and then this Fortune Tellers insert. This is just a Fox Sports Midwest card they give out at the stadium, so we have that one in there. Got a couple of the top stickers cards right here. That's what all three of these are, I believe. Yeah, these are the top stickers. Uh, Tops Tribute, again, one of my favorite products. Penny Select, Bowman from this year. Another uh, Road to Opening Day the base and an insert from big league from this year tops finest from this year base tops because he was in series two not series one um, panini prism from this year and now i get to add the tops finest insert so yeah thank you guys for hanging through this whole video um you know just showing you all the different sets they make and how fun it is to just pick a player and build a base card collection of them. I mean, hopefully he stays with the Cardinals his whole career. He's signed for like the next seven years. So I'd love for him to stick around and I can keep adding to this collection. Um, if you guys do this for any players, drop their name in the comments. I'd love to hear what all you do for your PC players. You know, this is just a small fraction of what I do for DeYoung. I have a lot of other memorabilia of him, but I love the base card collection that I've built. So um, I think, thank you guys for who leave comments down there. I love reading them, love interacting. Again, if you ever want to trade, reach out to me and we'll work something out. We'll exchange contact information and we will work out a trade. I've done a few trades on YouTube and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about me. And thank you guys for watching. Be safe and we'll catch you next time.